Yo, guys, Urban Bars brings you the best UK reactions to rap, hip hop, and urban music from all around the world. And guys, it's Valentine's Day. Yes, it's that special day of the year where you tell the person you love or the person you fancy that you love, fancy, like them, whatever you do, you know it. And guys, I didn't get any Valentine's Day cards at all. Nothing, zilch, nada. Ria, nothing. I hope you guys did a lot better than me. I got absolutely zilch, 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 zilch. But guys, enough of that. Here at Urban Bars, we bring you as much as we can, when we can, and if we can. So today it's Valentine's Day. So what better than to release, to bring a Valentine's Day reaction. I stuck the word Valentine's Day into the old Google search, the SEO, whatever you want to call it, on YouTube. And it came out with Valentine's Day 2022 by a guy called Grizzy Hendrix. The only thing I know about this guy is he's got 50,000 plus subscribers. So let's check out Valentine's Day 2022. Oh, it doesn't sound too tough, does it? Let's check him out. So he's just saying, can't you just be a girlfriend? So it sounds like there's a bit of angst, there's a bit of tension between them. Something like that. Can you just be a fucking girlfriend? On my face. I swear I'm to God, God I can't do well. this shit. I want to just tell you. Oh my goodness. I told my girl, like, fuck it, you got to go. All she want to do is watch TV eating this. Boom, boom, bat. Oh, there's real drum sounds on that. Oh my gosh. Oh. That teddy bear. Let's hope that's not blood. And that looks like a NHL top, sort of clown NHL top. Reminds me almost like insane clown posse kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know anything about um, Grizzy Hendrix. If you guys know anything about Grizzy Hendrix, let me know in the comment section, guys. But let's just rewind this because it's sounding good. So we heard him going nuts in one ear. Then we heard a lower version of Grizzy in my right hand side chatting as well. I didn't really hear what he was saying because. Well, let's check it out. My face. I swear to God, I can't take this shit. I want to just tell you. I told my girl, like, fuck it, you got to go. All she want to do is watch TV, eating and smoke. I want to enjoy the fruits of my labor. I can't alone. When your girl ain't trying to grow, home ain't feeling like home. Yes, that's my cue to go. Thought we was friends for a mo. Just know I gave him all, all, all these hoes I could have bone. Like telling a coke could have gave it his dick stroke, but no, didn't know. Could have left a pigeon toe, but still I played my bitch. <laughs> Guys, this is an upbeat beat. I know he's ranting and raving about his girl, but the actual beat is bummy. Oh my goodness. I mean, just, last time I'm going to reel it, guys. Last time. Let's just check it. I can't take this shit. I want to just tell you. Oh, Wait, 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 wait. I didn't even notice. I just saw. <laughs> He's talking about his girlfriend's got to go and all she does is watches TV and smokes. But then I noticed there's a female hand there with all the nails, etc. done. And then I looked where the bear is. So if, if I circle down here, you can see a female hand. And now if we trace this from where the bear is down to under the clown shirt, I didn't even check out. There's a lady's face. Oh my gosh. Really? What the heck has this man done? Was it Grizzy Hendrix? All right, let's wheel this last time. I didn't even notice there was a body. <laughs> really? Oh. This Halloween was this Valentine's. I told my girl, like, fuck it, you gotta go. All she wanna do is watch TV, eating this smoke. I wanna enjoy the fruits of my labor. I can't alone. When your girl ain't trying to grow, home ain't feeling like home. Yes, that's my cue to go. Thought we was friends for a mo. Just know I gave him my own. All these hoes I could have bone. Like Taylor Nicole could have gave it his dick stroke. But no, didn't know. Could have oh, left a bitch and told. But still, I played my position. Copped you some new clothes. Even got you 40k off it. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's when I get a return, a lot of mouth and no don't. Cause when the cons is outweighing a pros, it's like bro. Oh my gosh, so he's saying he spent a lot of money on his lady. 40k, he got nothing in return. 
no return on that. Oh my gosh, let's just check that out. And when I get a return, a lot of mouth and no don't. Cause when the conscience outweighing a pros, it's like, bro, come on. You want your own, I ain't doing this no more. But I'm the one who's wrong. Yeah, I see how this shit goes. I can't see him coming down my eyes. Sometimes I swear to God, I wish this bitch would just die. Oh, oh, oh. I can't kneel down and pray. I done lost my goddamn fame. Don't nobody ever see it my way. So you better get the fuck out of my Jealous because they see you got a man to love your ass. I like this, so there's like almost a skit within within this thing here, the interlude. Remember hearing those interludes from years ago, generally on NWA sort of um, Ice Cube sort of stuff as well. And then definitely on the Dr. Dre bits and pieces, lots of interludes and skits. But saying that, this whole tune is weird because it seems more like a Halloween kind of vibe on Valentine's. Obviously, he's done something terrible to his other half on Valentine's because you saw the bear there said, I love you, or splattered in blood, or admitted in blood, etc., etc. But I like this. I mean, the subject matter, yeah, but the actual the vibe of the tune and everything is, yeah, I like this, actually. I've never heard of this guy before, Grizzy Hendrix. Guys, you better let me know in the comments section if you heard of Greasy Hendrix. What's he up to? Is this the sort of stuff he gets up to? I don't know. Let's check it out. He's contemplating how to kill you. Ain't nobody laughing at you. If anything, them hoes is jealous because they see you got a man to love your ass. <sighs> don't be so insecure. I can't stand that shit, hmm. man. If I'm insecure, it's because you made me this way. Whoa. Oh, man. Really? That just finished just as it was getting interesting, just as it was getting started. So he's saying to her at the very end, um, you know, why are you so insecure? And the lady said to him, if I'm insecure, it's because you made me that way. So there's lots of little subject matter bits that need to be sort of, there's a lot of little strands, etc. that I'm hoping that you guys can pull in and actually finish those strands and turn to something because there's a lot of loose ends. I absolutely like that, but it just finished. It finished too quickly. Oh man, guys, good, bad, or indifferent. Stick it in the comment section. So that was Grizzy Hendrix, and that was Valentine's Day 2022. I like the concept, guys. The only thing that it just left me wanting more. It seemed a bit unfinished to me at the end. It was so, it was so good. And then it just left me hanging. Do you know what it reminds me of? There's a couple of series that I watched a few years back that just dropped off the face of the earth. And guys, you know I love my films, you know I love all that kind of thing. If you've ever watched these series, let me know what you think. Now, one of them was called The Event. That, I think they had one season and it just dropped out of the face of the earth. Another of the series that... What was it? Oh, yeah. Flash forward. Oh, my gosh. I love that. It had two seasons and it finished abruptly because of there was a writer's strike, and that sort of stuff, etc., etc. But I can't stand it when something, it gets my, piques my interest, pulls me in, draws me in, <laughs> he's drawing me in, and then suddenly nothing. It just dropped off the face of the earth. Guys, if you're watching, flash forward. I need to see what happens in the end. You need to bring that back. The event, same thing. There's others as well. But guys, actually, seriously, it's Valentine's Day. I did not expect something like that to drop on Valentine's Day, guys. So please, guys, put all your worries and troubles away somewhere, guys. Just talk it out, walk it out, talk it out. If your loved ones, treat them lovely. It's today's the, one of the best days of the year. Valentine's Day, your other half's birthday and things like that. Treat them with the love and respect they deserve, guys. Have fun, chill out, put all your worries to one side, take time out, turn off your phones, turn off all the other bits and pieces, and just have fun, guys. Have fun and, you know, sort of reconnect. Reconnect, guys. It's the best time to do it. Guys, 
I know you will. So have an absolutely great and blessed day. Have a great Valentine's Day. Come back to check out Urban Bars next reaction. And guys, if you haven't already subscribed to Urban Bars, please subscribe to my channel here at Urban Bars because I need each and every one of your support. And I absolutely adore and love and appreciate all your support, guys. I love doing this. I love doing, seeing all these weird and wonderful videos and hearing this lovely music, no matter what. Sometimes it's music I've heard for the very first time. Definitely most of the videos I'm seeing and hearing for the very first time, and I'm loving the reaction to them. But guys, have a blessed day, have a blessed evening, have a great Valentine's, and come back to the next uh, Bars reaction. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and above all, have fun, guys. Have fun, have fun, have fun. I'll see you next time.